How do you know if you need a radiant barrier inside your metal building? It's really simple. All you got to do is feel. You put your hand about a half inch away from that metal. If you feel heat coming off the metal, you need a radiant barrier. Now this is the foil white product. It's foil on one side and white on the other. When you install that with about a half inch airspace between the foil and the metal, now you can't feel any of that radiant heat coming off the metal skin. Now let's take a look at the thermal imaging camera and I'll show you exactly the difference. All right, now you can see from the thermal imaging camera, it's about 125 or 130 on the metal and it's about 95 to 100 with the foil white. So that's a huge difference. Once again, probably 120, 125 on the metal side and under 100 degrees on the foil white side. Now watch this, I can put my hand on here and it's hot, but my hand is actually cooler than the metal and it's gonna cool it off here in just a second. You'll see a handprint because that heat now is actually being absorbed into my hand. Heat always goes from hot to cold. And even though my hand is 100 degrees or 98 degrees, being 125, 130 degrees, that heat comes off. And now you've got a handprint where my relatively cool hand was. So let's do a full walk around showing the exact temperatures using the thermal imaging camera. This is the internal of the foil white product, about 97, 98 degrees. The internal temperature of this metal is about 126, 127 degrees. Now let's walk. To the exterior and the sun is facing this wall. You can see the exterior surface without the radiant barrier behind it is about 130 degrees, 131. And where the radiant barrier foil is behind it, it gets up to about 150 degrees. So that heat is actually being reflected back to the outside or the metal is getting hotter. This metal is actually cooler because that heat is both radiating inward and outward, causing it to cool off. Whereas this area, basically all the heat is being reflected back. And so that metal will go up a little bit, but the internal temperature will be cooler because less heat is getting into the building. So if you instantly want to cool off your metal building, take a look at the foil foil product or the foil white product at bluetexinsulation.com. Now these are the products without the foam insulation. The foam insulation is more for colder climates where you're trying to control moisture or condensation. But all you have to do is get the foil up between you and that hot metal. It's a cumulative effect. You don't have to cover every square inch, but the more coverage, the better. Any other questions, give us a call or visit the website, bluetexinsulation.com.